I'm Melanie Hill. I'm a teacher at Waynesboro Elementary School. I've been teaching for 17 years. I started my career as a pre-K teacher. After three years, I transferred to fourth grade. I've taught every subject in fourth grade. I am currently an ELA teacher and I have been serving on my school leadership team for about a decade. Question one, it's important that we create a safe, respectful, nurturing environment for our children to achieve academic success. That begins by creating a physically safe environment, but also creating a safe emotional and mental environment. Um, we can build rapport up with not just our children, but also with our parents and community members and coworkers. Let's model the behavior that we want to see from them. Let's show them that we can get along, we can care, we can respect each other when we don't agree, when we have different beliefs. And that will help achieve academic success just by creating that safe emotional mental environment. Question two, our parent and community members are very important to our academic success for our children. Um, they can establish a positive influence with behavior, with attitude, with just academic success. We want to encourage open lines of communication. We want to have different type of community events where parents and community members come in. We can even go on local field trips just so that we create that rapport with them because they are crucial. Sometimes parents and adults within the community do not have the best um, outlook when it comes to teaching and with, and with school, with just education in general. So we want to build those relationships up. We want to acknowledge their struggles and work with them and hopefully build that rapport because they are important. Question three, we use data a lot at our school for identifying at-risk children to um, know if they need a small group setting, a certain type of explicit instruction. We also use it to progress monitor our kids to see if what we're doing is working. We, we definitely want to make sure that we're using lessons and methods that's helping our kids to see that growth that happens. We also use benchmark testing to kind of place our kids in tier one groups. And one thing I've noticed is that sometimes kids have a pretty good benchmark assessment, but then in classroom, they struggle more or even vice versa. Maybe they kind of struggle on the benchmark and they do really well in class. Um, it's something to definitely consider because sometimes work ethic does play a major role as far as whether or not they're achieving and things like that. Um, question four, uh, I've liked different types of professional development myself. I like that, especially since the last few years, we have a right, wide variety. I've been to conferences, county in services. I've done Zoom professional development. I have had to go online and complete activities, read activities, watch videos, been to state workshops. And really, I like uh, that we have that different variety. Um, there are times when just being able to work independently, working on my own time, helps out a lot for me. Um, however, I do like going to those conferences and seeing all the great um, things that are involved. Thank you. Bye.